so as to speak with one voice in the interest uh, of North and Northerners. Today we are addressing you uh, based on the circumstances uh, leading to what we are going to announce shortly. You are aware that throughout uh, this year there has been continued killing and destructions of properties of Northerners that are either resident in the southeastern part of Nigeria or are on transit for business purposes, purposes moving from the north to the east or from the east to the north. You are aware that the outlawed members of the IPOB and ESM have continually been killing and destroying uh, properties of northerners. Not only that, even security agencies who are trained uh, and have the license to protect lives and properties of Nigerians are not spared by these outlawed organizations of uh, IPOB and the ESN. This has called from gen also from uh, December 1st till today, uh, December uh, 13th, day, uh, 14th rather, these con uh, killings also continue uh, nonstop. We desist from transporting anything good and services from the north to the east. This is not intended to punish the Easterners, the entire Easterners, or to cause uh, delay or losses even to the Northerners themselves. But this is for the purpose of sending uh, a message of our displeasure to the eastern part of Nigeria, most especially the, the governors, the traditional rulers, the stakeholders, that enough of this killing is enough. We are law-abiding as Northerners. We believe in the law. We respect the law. We abide by the law. So we will not, uh, we will not on our own start destroying or killing Easterners resident, resident in the north. We will also not allow any of our own people carry such actions because it's against the law. And we also know that those that are doing the killing in the east are not the same Easterners that are resident in the north. So Easterners residents, resident in the north can continue to reside and continue to do their lawful businesses. They are free, they are protected. Northerners are friendly. But for the east, Northerners that are in the east also, we are saying be careful and cooperate. Every truck driver, every taxi driver, every J5 driver, every Sharon, and anybody that is moving from passenger to transportation of goods and services from the north to the east, we are saying from tomorrow, 15th, Please desist from doing that so that we can send a signal to these people, in our brothers in the East, that we are not happy with what they are doing and we cannot continue to tolerate the, tolerate the continuous killing and destruction of properties of Northerners, either resident in the East or are doing transacting between North and East in the name of our business. And we are also calling on our youth to please calm down that there is no need for any action. This that we are doing is enough to send a message to these people, and we believe that their leaders will listen and they will also act on this. While we are commending our security agencies for the best that they have been doing, we will continue to pray for them and for God's guidance and protection. For those that have lost their lives, we are praying that God receive their souls in good uh, in good faith, and those that lost their properties, we also pray and hope that God will provide for them so that they will get back what they have lost. For strike, starting from 12 o'clock, a minute after 12 o'clock tomorrow, that is on Thursday, on the 15th, December 2022. Uh, our reasons of going to this strike is because of the people that they are in the eastern part of Nigeria, iPod and Eastern, they are destroying our trucks, killing our drivers whenever they carry goods to them. That is why we are calling this strike. Uh, as of, from, uh, let's say, this uh, December, they kill more than uh, 100 people. I'll give you an example. There's an airport uh, truck. He carry people coming to north. They stop the vehicle and kill about 42 people, which will have the evidence and the facts that anybody who wants it, he should contact the Northern Consensus Movement. He will see the facts. The same thing in Lobanta. The same thing in Aba. They kill the driver. 
the man is from Nasarawa State. Three of them, they have taken the dead body to Nasarawa State for burial, while my people, they are so worried. They even wanted to bring this peace between any Igbo and uh, Nasarawa State people. Thank God we are low uh, abiding citizens of Nigeria. Our youths, our children, anything that our leaders, our, our elders told, tell them that they should not do, they used to abide by that. That is why they calm the situation there. So due to that, we are not going to agree to allow this thing to continue happening to our northerners. His, his name is Alleged Bello Kati, National Chairman Kettle Dealers Association of Nigeria. President Kettle Dealers Association of Nigeria. He is calling on all his members to embark to join uh, NCM. He is given directives. As he is, he, is, uh, join, he has already joined the the movement. So let the let all his members join embark on this strike. To kubar jeje nanda kuke ji na muta ne muna fuka wanda basu the kitchen muta ne arewa su kitchen su ko alje hunsu achi chumutung. So those who can be able to ask can also tell you. Don't haka muhata kai mugoi bayam bawang Allah nang mutafi sita abinang yajing aiki in Allah the say gomnati tabamu information tabachi are mu da are do kiamu. You should avoid on all that hearsay from other from other parts. These people which they are which they are not supporting this strike. They are not doing it for the for the they are not doing it for the people for the people of for the northerners. Rather, they are doing it on what to get. So they are after what to get. Because the constitution said that under chapter four, sub sections 40, 40, that any organizations that they are their right has been breached. So our members have been killed in the eastern part of this country. Their property has been destroyed. So we want to call the attentions of the government, part of their, their responsibility, to make sure to protect our members. We, uh, we, we are already, uh, all the time that we are meeting with the press, express our anger, express our, uh, our own problem about what was going there. But the government is not taking action up till now. So that is why, since that the Constitution said that we can go even by the protest, that lawful protest. So that is now, we, all of us, we are agreed to go on that lawful protest to make sure our government to do their own honors.